हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिसनेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट एक्सटेंडेड डायडॉक स्कीम इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल लर्न दैट व्हाट इज द एक्सटेंडेड डायडॉक स्कीम एंड फॉर व्हिच टाइप ऑफ शिप दिस टाइप ऑफ स्कीम इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द कंडीशन व्हिच यू शुड फुलफिल टू इंश्योर दैट योर शिप इज एलिजिबल for extended dialogue scheme to clearly understand this video i request all of you to please watch my in water survey video so that you can clearly understand what is a extended dialogue scheme the link will be in the description so friend those who are watching marine engineering hub first time video i want to tell you marine engineering hub is a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for your examination oral and for interview so please like our channel please subscribe our channel and you can continue to get our video those who are giving mio class exam for those i want to tell you please join the channel membership you will get lot of video which are able to be released and which will be beneficial for your examination purpose the cost is minimal so let's start the today video of extended dry dock so friend extended dry dock is a program which is been established by the different type of class distinction society so what do you mean by extended dry dock it means that normally as per solas regulation solas chapter 1 regulation 10 say in a 5 year period you have to go at least two time dry dock one in 3 year and second in 5 year now this 3 year is a intermediate survey and this was replaced by the help of a in water survey so you have to go to a dry dock in a renewable survey but you can further extend this period of 5 to 7.5 depending upon certain criteria so basically extended dry dock program is a scheme in which the dry dock is been extended from 5 to 7.5 year so this 7.5 year is been extended with the help of a in water survey so this what is the in water survey how the in water survey happen you can find the link in the description you can watch basically in a synopsis in water survey is a type of a survey in which the pictorial survey is been done with the help of a divers and the surveyor on board who will see the bottom part of a ship clearly to ensure that there is no physical damage now let us understand that why the company need edd is extended dry dock so as you know this is a timeline of vessel from 0 to 20 year so every 5 year in every 2 and 1/2 year we have to do a bottom survey so in bottom survey we have to do and after that you have to do a dry dock you have to do a dry dock so you have to do dry dock bottom survey again dry dock bottom survey again dry dock this is the frequency of a normal ship it means that in the first year the ship is manufactured after 2 and 1/2 year it will do a bottom survey and in 5 year it will do a dry dock now if you are following a iws in water survey requirement in that case this bottom survey you can do in a float condition now what extended dry dock says that if you are satisfying the criteria of a iws then you can carry two bottom survey and after that you can do a dry dock so it means that in between the two dry dock there will be a two bottom survey you can do if you are satisfying the criteria of a extended dry dock it means what that first you have your ship is commissioned after that you have done a bottom survey that is the in order survey again in a five year where you are supposed to do the renewal survey that you can extend you can do in a that you can do here if you satisfy the in order survey requirement and then you can do the next in here dry dock you can do here 
So basically the certificate renewal will be done in a five year basis. That will not change. Only the inspection, the maintenance and the hull, hull maintenance and whatever. If your ship is maintaining properly, you can extend it. So in short, what is the ED scheme? ED scheme is a type of scheme in which you can do two in water survey in between a two dry dock, which in which you are going to a dock. Means in between a two dock, you are doing two in water survey. That is the ED scheme. So what advantage is provide? It allows the ship to stay in a water for a longer period of time, which help the business to grow. It increase also the flexibility so that we can properly plan the maintenance and the do the maintenance of a ship. Now this scheme, this EDD scheme is not applicable to the ESP type of ship, that is enhanced survey program ship, bulk carrier, chemical oil tanker. It is not also applicable for a high speed craft. It's not also applicable for a keyed propeller, and it's also not applicable for a ship fitted with a propulsion thruster. So, a ship fitted with this type of thruster or a keyed propeller or high speed ship or ESP ship is not coming under scheme. So, in which scheme they will come? Either they have to follow this scheme, or they will follow the IWS scheme. Now, extended dry dog is a type of a scheme in which they incorporate the in water survey scheme to increase their time period from 5 to 7.5 years. Okay, so if you are extending your ADD, you have to follow this criteria. The first thing is that you should have a provision that you can carry out the maintenance of your electrical sensor such as speed lock, eco sounder, CO temperature gauge and electrical draft reading while you are in afloat condition. If you have a provision that you can do the maintenance of this equipment even in the afloat condition, then you are qualifying for a AD scheme. Second, they say that if you are able to maintain the draft marking, means the draft marking of yours is clearly visible, is not getting defended and it is clear even after remaining for a long time of water, you can or low line marking also is clear. In that case, you can continue to a AD scheme. If your manufacturer guaranteed that when the ship is going, when the ship is staying in a water for that period of time, in that time, the film will be proper. There will be no bacteria formation. The micro falling, macro falling will not happen, and it will extend till the next dry dock when the ship is coming to a dock. In that case, you are qualified for the extended dry dock scheme. It means, you know, this type of paint is that the manufacturer write that, okay, if you use my paint, then that paint will remain for a period of 10 years or 5 years. So that type of paint is expensive and that type of paint when used, then that paint don't need a frequent renewal in every dry dock. So you can do a renewal of painting after 10 years or after 7 or 8 years when you are going for a second dry dock. So that type of paint is usable in extended dry dock scheme. Now if you have a if you have a fin like this then you have to have provision to do the maintenance afloat condition. If you have a sacrificial anode then you should able to renew it in a afloat condition. So these type of things have come on board which you can fit even in the afloat condition also. If you are, you should must comply with the in water survey requirement and you should have a protective coating inside the ballast tank and all the void space which should be maintained in a good condition. If it's not in good condition, if it, if it is in poor condition, then you have to go to the dry dock. If you, you should have on board at least two schemes, one is the tail sap condition monitoring scheme in which your R bring temperature, forward bring temperature and the lubrication and everything will be monitored and recorded which will be helped for extending the tail shaft survey and after that you should also follow the hull maintenance scheme as per the container requirement. So basically the extended dry dog scheme in short is a type of a scheme, a program in which the dry dog is extended from 5 to 7.5 years on a basis that 
two in water survey is done in between a two dry dock. It is not applicable for this type of ship. But in order to qualify, you need to ensure that you can do the electrical maintenance of equipment which are fitted afloat condition. Second, you have should have a you should have a provision so that your your load line marking or dart marking doesn't go wrong. You should have a provision that your paint continue to stick for a longer period of time. You should have a provision to change the sacrificial anode. You should follow the IW scheme and your coating in the ballast tank and a wire space should be in a good condition. And you should follow the tail shaft condition monitoring scheme so that your tail shaft survey can be extended and you also follow the hull maintenance scheme. So friend, this is a part of a program which has been mainly follow on board so that the vessel can run for longer period of time without dry dock and can provide good business to the company. Friend, if you have learned something from this video, please like the video, please share the video and please do subscribe. And if you still want, if you want, if you have any doubt, please do comment below. I will 